Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. Today we're diving into none other than the Crayon Case Blush Palette. I am so hyped about this, you guys. I love the Crayon Case. I have reviewed their products before a long, long time ago on my channel. I want to do something really fun with this palette because this is, yes, a blush binder. It is massive. Let's open it up right now. I'm not going to waste no time. This is what it looks like. Look at this, guys. This is incredible. You get three massive pages of huge pans of makeup this weighs 220 grams of product it is made in china it does contain talc and mica and it costs 45.99 now it is currently sold out but they are definitely working on the restock so i would highly suggest going to the crayon case instagram and giving them a follow i believe you can also sign up for text messages to get alerts that's how i get alerts so today i'm going to be showing you guys seven ways that i use the blush binder today for this makeup look and no it's not just for blush first thing i do is i open this up to the first page and i use this bottom shade which is honestly perfect for me to contour and bronze my face. So I went with a Lamora Cosmetics brush and I started on my cheekbone going back and forth and lo and behold it showed up just as good as my Glamour Bronzer from Morphe. What really shocked me today is how well this shadow performs on my face because I thought it might be too too dark. Going in lightly, not too much product, it did show up perfectly. There was no patchiness or anything like that. It definitely is pigmented. I absolutely loved it. Next I went ahead I moved on to blush which makes sense because this is a blush binder right I use the last page which I think is called shade hour so they have little tabs here in the front that says slay period blendy 101 and shade hour and I think that's the pages I'm not too too sure I mixed both this color and this color together and I went and lightened my brush you guys and started to put it on my cheek as you can see it showed up again super pigmented applied evenly wasn't shocked especially after seeing how I used it with the contour slash bronzer next is eyeshadow first thing I do is I put some Kylie Cosmetics makeup concealer on the lid and of course I pat it in then I just take a large blending brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I put that all across the lid just setting in the concealer that I just put down. Next shadow I take, which is on page two, which I believe is Blendy 101, I take the red. I had to use a red today. Honestly, I could have used the pink. There's so many gorgeous, gorgeous shadows in this binder, but I really wanted to play with the red. I put that all across my lid. Next shadow that I dip into is on page one, which is Slay Period. And I take the shadow right here and I take it lightly on a brush and I just put it on top of the red that I just put down and I blend those two together, which took two seconds to do. For the lower lash line, I just go back into the same red that I put all across my lid. And I started on the back of my lower lash line just going back and forth. Now for liner, I feel like I should have probably cut my liner out with concealer so that the actual colors could pop more. But instead I was being super lazy and I just took the brush and I went ahead and I dipped into both of these shadows down here to just make a liner going across. Now I did not plan on doing a wonky kind of liner i feel like that is not my best liner you guys but i struggle sometimes when i use just a brush and a shadow that is something i seriously need to work on but regardless the whole point is i want to show you that you can use this as a liner as well so just to recap so far we have used it for contour bronzer blush eyeshadow and now eyeliner i also wanted to put something in my waterline so this palette can also be used as a waterliner and i went back into that same red and i just filled it in my waterline and i went ahead and i threw on some glam light margarita lashes and then the seventh thing that i did with this blush binder was i used it as lipstick i can't remember if i saw supa on live or on a video but regardless i did hear her mention that you could use this as a lipstick as well i have never ever thought to use eyeshadow for your lips now of course you can use makeup however you want that's the beauty of makeup so I definitely wanted to give it a try. So I took my brush and I swept it across my lips. And I'm so happy to see it show up on my lips. Most of you guys know I am a lip gloss girl. So although it did look pretty on its own, I wanted to go ahead and slap on some lip gloss. So I used the Too Faced Social Butterfly Lip Gloss right on top. And honestly, it just brings that color out ever so Beautifully. And that is the seven ways that I used the blush binder. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Let me know if you are going to grab this, if this is on your buy list. Let me know if you got it and it's on the way and you're excited to get it. I'm definitely going to be using this again. This is incredible. It's such a money saver to you guys. This costs $45.99, right? And they also have afterpay, by the way. I use it for contour, bronzer, blush, lipstick, eyeliner, eyeshadow, waterliner. If I had done that with all different products, 
the amount of money spent on all those products is so much more than $45.99. So I was just really happy to see how versatile this is. All right, guys, I am done chit-chatting. Let's go ahead and call it a night or a day. I honestly don't know what time you're watching this. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching me chit-chat about makeup. I hope you guys are staying safe, and I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Bye.